Lonnie Miley, been a while since we've talked this year, and so much has happened so far. First of all, congratulations on another President's Cup trophy. Um, great job by your team during that tournament. Yep, that was our second match of the year, and uh, it was a nice homecoming, you know, to bring all the academies back uh, back to our arena. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of seniors shooting this year, and they all performed well in that match, and it was it was really nice to kind of have a capstone. So this, this senior class has won it every single time, and uh, pretty much all of their scores counted in the match. You know, again, that's where we take – eight shooters, we get to select eight shooters and the top five scores count. So it, it spreads out the wealth a little bit. Everybody has a chance to have a score that, that helps our team. And again, we have a lot of, you know, well, freshmen, upperclassmen, every, everybody need to step up and they sure did. Yeah, they certainly did. Congratulations uh, once again about that. But it seems to me with that so early in the season, it seems to me like there could be a chance that a team could let down. Your team has just continued to get better. You beat Nebraska. You got a 600 score from D'Souza. You got 599s. Um, what is going on with this rifle team? Well, it's. I think we just kind of. It took us a long time before we started competing, and so once we hit the ground, we just hit the ground running, and so that's kind of the way we planned it. Um, you know, we actually thought we were going to be shooting the U.S. National Championships the first part of October, and when that got canceled, uh, that kind of just changed our philosophy on how we were going to approach the season. So really, um, we we took the very first part of our season slow. You know, we were just working on positions and working on endurance. And then uh, when we finally started matches, we've had a match every single weekend since the, the end of October. So it's just been nonstop. And uh, we just wanted to see how it would play out, you know, because once you get all your ducks in a row, you've just got to go. And that's what we've been doing. And and, and they've, they've continued to build. Some of them have been shooting personal bests every single time they shoot. So. Again, it wasn't exactly how we wanted the team or the, the season to unfold, but you know, we're using to what we have to our advantage. And you know, it's when it's compact like that, it's like you just give it all up, you get your job done, and now we get to kind of regroup and get ready for January. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I kind of glossed over a couple of things I want to go back to. Panina D'Souza, a 600. This is the very first in Academy history. It doesn't happen every day. Talk to me about that. Yeah, That's so I think there's only been about four or five people, um, and maybe they've shot it a couple times, but like that elusive 600. So there is just something about it. Um, and we've had Scott Rocket, who shot a 599, shot a 99 on his last shot. So, you know, you feel it. There's a point where you feel it. And he said he felt it on shot 45, you know, and then you just keep working and working and working and chipping away and pushing that boundary. And he pushed it right to the end. Um, and now he's backed that up with another 599 and another 598. So he is absolutely uh, the top air gun shooter in the whole country. So all of collegiate shooting, he's the top air rifle shooter. And he's, you know, he's ahead of two Olympians that, are sh that shoot for Kentucky. So we're really proud of that. Now, Penina's right on his tail. So he uh, or she had that 600. Um, she had a 599 the very next day. And uh, so these two are shooting phenomenally and shooting consistently. And that's, again, kind of what we've worked toward and, and how we hoped it would unfold. And for them, um, you, know, we, uh, you know, Dave's really worked on positions with them. We know their guns are shooting. Uh, we match their pellets and, and ammunition to their to their rifles. So we're sending them out to the line with with the best of everything, the best positions, the best uh, the best gear. And you know, so that's that's kind of a relief in itself and a confidence. Uh, so it's it's up to you. It's up to you to shoot your match, stay focused, and yeah. And when you get to that point where you feel it, you've got to have the you know the 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 mindset and the shot plan that just pushes through that barrier. And you keep shooting tens. I, I'm assuming Lonnie Miley never shot a 600. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> how does it feel to coach someone who's done who, well, even I, all of these? Rifles? Yeah, I don't know. They're right now. They're just shooting phenomenally. I mean, it's that is like I said. That, that is a milestone. That is a milestone, and it's great to be a part of that. Uh, Panina is just this calm, cool, collected, very uh, you know quiet, you know unassuming. And when she gets her gear on and goes to work, you know, again, it's just 
you know, not a lot of movement, a lot of, not a lot of talk, you know, but when she gets out there and gets shooting, I mean, she's just a phenom and uh, it's, it's fun to be a part of. And really, yeah, coaching, it's, uh, we're getting very top-notch shooters in. It's more about keeping them pointed in the right direction. I mean, they've got the drive, the determination, and, uh, you know, it just, it's the work ethic. And we're just lucky that we have what we have and we just keep, up, keep them pointed in the right direction. How do you keep them pointed in the right direction, to use your words there, and, and, and what do you do between now and January when you get back at it? Well, we kind of get to regroup now. Uh, there will be a group that's going to the Winter Air Gun, uh, and that'll be a, nas a national championship for USA shooting. I think we're taking five to that. Um, and so now we're going to kind of shift focus onto the international stuff for these top five. And again, these are our top air gun shooters. Uh, so we'll be shooting finals now, and we do shoot a finals uh, for our, our conference championship and for the uh, NCAA national championship. So now we're now we're introducing that element into our training. That's where each shot is now. Uh, uh, there's a time limit for each shot, so it's a little different, uh, like mindset and uh, timing. So we'll focus on that kind of pressure, you know, and, and we'll we'll put other kind of pressure on them as well. That uh, when they get to the final in the real match, it won't feel as uh, you know as challenging as it could. But um, you know, we put them into those situations, and and again, that's then that becomes part of their foundation. So. We get to focus on a little bit something different, and then when we get back in January, we'll have about three weeks of training before we, we go to Alaska. And Alaska right now is the number one team in the country and shooting very well. Uh, so that, you know, we'll be, you yeah, know, we've got to bring our A game there and, um, you know, be ready to perform. Yeah. One more bit of news. The United States Air Force Academy is going to host the NCAA championships for rifle. I know you're excited about that. And, and. Uh, is this a first at the academy? Well, uh, I think back in the early 2000s or mid 2000s, it was at the Olympic Training Center. And Air Force was the host school, even though it was the U.S. shooting team that, that put on the match. But, you, but the Air Force Academy was the host, you know, and kind of in charge of, of some of those elements. But we'll be in charge of the whole thing now. So um, it was supposed to be at NC State. And they lost their coach, and they just decided to give up the bid. Um, so uh, about a month or two ago, NCAA just put out to all the other, all the schools that have ever hosted to just say, "Hey, can you help us out? And um, you know, see if you've got time in your schedule to add the, you know, the nationals to uh, uh, to your calendar." So I'm um, talking to our, you know, you know, our uh, administration, and they're excited because there's not going to be a lot going on at the academy other than recognition but in the athletic department will be pretty free here so uh, they were excited to you know be the host and put that on and uh, I will put on a great show and again we've got again like I said a, a great group of seniors it's going to be a great capstone you know for their career and you know it'll be sh it'll be fun to show off our sport to the academy because it's it is exciting to watch at that uh, level and we'll put on a great show. Lonnie Miley, lots of exciting things happening in Rifle. Thank you for taking the time. Appreciate it. Yep, thank you.